Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. In quadrilateral ABCD, sides AD and BC have the same length. Angle A plus angle B is equal to 90 degrees. If AB is equal to 20 and CD is equal to 10, what is the area of the quadrilateral ABCD? I thank Cree then for the suggestion. For a little bit of a challenge, you can solve the general case where AB has a length equal to X and CD has a length equal to Y. A version of this problem was given to class 8 students in India who were approximately 13 years old. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. We can solve this problem with a clever trick of thinking inside the box. We will make three copies of this quadrilateral. We will rotate each shape at 90 degree increments and overlap the two sides that are equal to each other. In the end, we will construct a new quadrilateral. What can we say about this shape? Well, each side length will be equal to x. And since angle A plus angle B is equal to 90 degrees, the entire shape will be a square. Therefore, its area will be equal to x squared. There's another way that we can compute the area of this large shape. It'll be equal to 4 times the area of the quadrilateral plus the area of this quadrilateral on the inside. What can we say about this quadrilateral? Now each side length will be equal to y, and since we rotated the quadrilateral 90 degrees each time, each of these sides will be at a 90 degree angle to each other. Therefore, this shape is also a square, and its area will be equal to y squared. So we have 4 times the area of the quadrilateral plus y squared is equal to x squared. We can simplify this formula, and we can get the area of the quadrilateral is equal to x squared minus y squared all over 4. We can then substitute in particular values and solve the original problem that the area of the quadrilateral is equal to 75. But the beauty of this method is that we've solved the general case for x and y. We thus have a simple formula that the area of this quadrilateral is equal to x squared minus y squared all over 4. And it's a beautiful construction that turns this mysterious problem into a very simple formula just by putting the jigsaw pieces in the right place. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for your support.